Two young lives lost after a car leaps the median, the crash, and why life-saving technology was not there to rescue them. That is tonight's top story. This is Carol Levin News at 5. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Mike has the night off. John Everson of Champlin was driving south on 252 with two passengers last night when a car going north crossed the highway and hit them head on. Everson and Julian Banks, both 27, were killed in the crash. It happened just before 10 last night where 252 intersects with 55th, 85th Street in Brooklyn Park. Now the stretch of road is one that does not have the life-saving cable median barrier that is being installed in some of the metro's busiest highways. Ways. Carol and Scott Goldberg has more on the crash and how safety sometimes takes a back seat to budget realities. The driver of the Mercury Mystique was just 27 years old and, as his relatives described him, a big teddy bear. A good soul and I'm sure that he's in a good place. They heard early this morning John Everson had been killed. So had his friend Jillian Banks. They and a third person were heading south last night on Highway 252. A Lincoln Town car coming the other way crossed the median and hit them head on. I think that he died too soon. Investigators say alcohol might have been a factor. And this is very, very early in the investigation for us, but it's obviously something we take very, very seriously, and this is a criminal investigation. It is the kind of accident the state patrol sees too frequently this time of year. Also the kind of accident state-of-the-art cable barriers can help prevent. I can't say unequivocally it would have prevented it, but it certainly uh, stood a good chance of preventing it if there had been cable median barrier there. MnDOT has installed about 20 miles of that cable around the Twin Cities. There was no barrier at Highway 252 and 85th Avenue. We look at areas where we've had a large number of cross-median crashes, either fatalities, injuries, and that's where we prioritize where we're putting them. MnDOT spokesman Kent Bar Barnard says the cables cost $1 million per mile, and it would be impossible to put them everywhere they'd be helpful. He also says most of the time they wouldn't be necessary if drivers slowed down, paid attention, and didn't drink. And last night, someone else's behavior might have cost John Everson and his friend their lives. I just hope people don't drink and drive. There were two people in the car that hit Everson's car. Both suffered injuries described as non-life-threatening. Nobody has been charged in connection with this crash. All right. Thank you, Scott. Thank you.